This is a video on how to create a mini utility disc on the BBC Micro. This allows you to format a floppy disk, like this one, under Acorn DFS when you don't have the original utility disk. One way to load the creation program is through the serial port. These commands select 2400 bogue receiving and transmitting. 19.2 kilobogue is possible but I'm using the slower rate here to make sure the BBC keeps up. These commands make the BBC take input from the serial port. Once this is done, the remote terminal should send the contents of dropper.txt from the miniutil.zip archive. I'm using vterm3 here it is, as it's more resistant to losing sync and it has a useful wait until coach return feature. You'll see that this is a short program as most functions are already in the DFS ROM. However, the size of the chip, 8 kilobytes, means the ability to format a disk from scratch has been left out. When the program is loaded, enter the drive number to write the utilities to and press Y if you want to erase this drive. After a few seconds, the drive will contain a one-track formatted disk with the utilities from the welcome disk. Alternatively, there is an MP3 file in the archive to load the creation program through the cassette port. Select the tape filing system and make, the, make sure page is no higher than 2000 hex. Then enter the command to load the creation program and the computer will display searching. The MP3 player has previously been adjusted to a safe volume level. Before playing the signal for the first time, set the volume level to minimum and slowly increase it until the BBC registers the signal. By the way, there is no difficulty storing readable tape signals in MP3 format as long as you use a high enough bitrate and a good enough encoder. The cassette input itself is a 7-pin DIN socket and it will also take 5-pin and 3-pin DIN plugs. The B Plus user guide has a discussion of the various cassette leads that can be used with the BBC Micro and a pinout and circuit diagram of the DIN socket. Now reselect the disk filing system and run the program. Again you'll need to enter the drive number to write to and confirm erasing the drive. You can now use this disk to format other disks, but if you want to put more data on this disk you can reformat it. Enter star form 40 or star form 80 according to the number of tracks on your disk drive. Then type the, num the drive number to format and a Y for confirmation. Once the disk is formatted, you can copy software to it using star load and star save, the built-in star copy command, or utilities such as XFER in C or DFS XFER which come with their own bootstrapping procedures. If you have a B+, a master, or a BBC Micro with a double density controller board, then the ROM should have a format command built in. If this is not the case, then, it's, then there is an alternative program for double density controllers to format disks directly. Three and a half inch drives can be used with the BBC Micro on a plug in and play basis, but only double density disks, which have one hole and are usually blue, work reliably. Most PC drives are preset to unit 1, which corresponds to drives 1 and 3. The utility disk is still in memory, but first we have to increase the set to count to 800. The magic number for 40 track drives ends in 9001 hex. Then we can call the routine to rewrite the utilities to the disk.
the utilities are now back on the disk. Thanks for watching.